Assalamu alaikum uh, welcome to world geography with Muhammad Adnan today tutorial is related to uh, alignment and alignment density getting from the DM data so as you can see on uh, my arc map view we have a DM data for our study area as you can see so now we apply on it a hill shade uh, three times we apply on it with a different values first we just keep it here and we give its output where we want to save it so i will save it uh, in this drive and uh, here i'm save the uh, geo database okay and now i will orange on it its name as a hill shape hill shape the hill shape with a 352 350 to 40 here is a 40 45 45 means the uh, altitude value and the 350 is the azimuth uh, values. Okay, receive it. So as you can see, uh, we get the, this kind of look in this value. Now we apply on it another two values, then we will draw some lines. Uh, a straight vertical lines to showing the alignment areas now we apply in each the 250 value 200 and here we have the 50 so here we give the values and here 200 and here is the 50 We already give it output path. Now we give its value. Now it will be become here like this time. Now we check out its uh, as compared to this and this. So now we reduce on it by applying again. One hundred and sixty here, and give it the output as sixty one hundred. Okay, so we will check the difference in it. What the difference is coming. So it's more better as than the other one. So you can easily see these straight lines showing here very clearly. So these are the fracture lines. We will be digitize it with the help of uh, digitizing tool. So now we are going to start digitizing identify the fracture zones and the fracture line so for the fracture we need to the straight line to identify it as we see it uh, in the this one here we easily see these kind of lines okay so now install it for a shape file and adding a image here we go for the shape file class feature line Thank you. 
teacher okay not a polygon teacher it must be a line teacher then we go to the next then we give this it by start editing from here and we will find a straight line in it and digitize it so we select it now we come here to select it and align and we start the digitizing so here and as you can see these lines are the fracture zone so we need to digitize it so for these lines will be uh, define as where will be the cave exists because uh, of the intersecting of this point, this line is not good. I need to delete it because it will intersect it. So we need to delete it. this line. We need to draw it. For a good uh, digitization, you need to. Zoom your area and it will be like that. Okay, this point we not need. Now <coughs> we select more further lines, the straight lines, which will be the showing here. density then we will be find easily where is the cap existence and we are not so this line already drawn another one and you can see this one So 
check it's for in the another resolution like that one uh, 200 and 51 Skip the video. So now, as I complete uh, the digitization, now I stop the digitization, and uh, now I will save it. It will automatically save when I directly stop it. Now I apply the line density to find the density. Density. Then we simply get the line density special and ls one and here we give its the line mate. Okay, we give the population field as well and we just give its output as well. And its area will be in a square kilometer. Okay, and you will be changing it according to your needs if you want to change it. So we will give it here to the density. alignment and we will give its processing extent as because this is a whole over study area so we give it as like that and raster mass to as this one and simple okay and okay 
storage will take time so as you can see we apply on it one day screen but the result is no good so now we are going to apply on it the corner density uh, on it for the corner we can use the point and the polyline like we have a polyline so we apply on it mm, like a field now and the area will be in a square kilometer and we just give it to the output as line density 3 okay and it will be the corner one and just okay then we will be get our result as it's showing like that so we will be check out it whether it is good or not so as you can see the density value is representing by this color and it's high here so it means cap will be generated from these places as compared to other ones so i hope this tutorial will help you in estimating the cap and voids uh, for using the alignment thanks for watching subscribe our channel for more informative videos